Hello, welcome back again. I am, and we're uh, into the next of our videos on the slave sword um, as taught by Della Vecchia. Um, really, I want to take these last couple of sessions to look at a more complicated form. Um, we've already looked at the walking in guards. Now we're going to look at these, this kind of more extended form. There's more movements in it, and there's a lot more principles in it. So what I want to do this week is really just detail out what's in the form, show you how it goes, and then next week, hopefully, take some of the key parts out of it and explain the principles behind it. Um, so this is really what it is, and next week is why it's useful. Um, so let's get started. So unlike walking in guard, where we start in this kind of sword sheath position, this guard, this sorry, this form assumes that we're already in guard. So we start in Coda Lunga. And from there, our first movement is we're going to do a slight lunge with a Punta Reverti. So we're going to end up palm up, thrust out to the side. Now, this is just quite a small lunge, so rather than kind of fully and committed here, what I want to do is just make a slight half step forward as I bring my thrust across to the other side. From there, I'm going to slip my foot back, so from there, my thrust, I'm going to slip my foot back and parry on that outside line. Then, as I bring my foot back forward again from that slip, I'm going to cut into Porta de Ferro. From there, it does actually start to look a bit more like the, uh, the, the walking in guards form. I'm going to cut the reverso tondo and follow that through with the reverso squalabrato, taking me back to um, Coda Lunga. And from there, I'm going to cut across into a Porta de Ferra Largo, so just letting the point drop there. From there, I'm going into two stramazonis, and by now it seems like I've forgotten how my feet move. But the next step is I'm going to pivot forward and move across into Coda Lunga Alta. And from there, I'm going to move forward again, up into Garda de Alicorno, and then thrust with an imbricata. From there, I've got a squalombrato coming over, which finishes me on this bit in Porta de Ferro. Okay? From there, I'm going to do my lunge forward again, boom, this time palm down, and then slip the leg and cut to the inside line. From here, I'm going to move back across to my kind of outside line without moving my leg, and then as I recover my leg forward, I come back up into Garda de Alicorno and an Imbricata thrust and a Squalombrato back to my Porta de Ferro again. From here, I do a move that doesn't really seem to be accurately described anywhere in the rest of his works, but uh, for sake of argument, let's call it a falso reverso tondo. So it's a false edge cut across this line and it's a parry. I'm just knocking that point across. So from there, I would knock that side and then go straight into another lunging punta reverti. And then as I recover from that, slip the leg, parry to the outside line again. From here, this time, as I step back forward, I'm going up into guard and sesta, reaching underneath to grab my opponent and then cutting squall and barato across that. From there, I cut back across to end the form as I started in Coda Lunga. So let's take a look at that from a couple of other angles. So if I start from here, I'm in Coda Lunga, I start with my thrust, my slip and carry to the outside, and into Porta de Ferro. I do my beat and cut, parry back on the low line. Double Stramazzoni, and then I start my weird walking forward. I walk forward to this guard, I walk forward to this guard, and then I stab the other guy and parry across. From there, again, I'm into a lunge, and then recover, but this time to the inside. Change guard, step forward into guard de Alcorno, Imbricata, and again, cut back to the inside line. From there, I've got my weird parry across, thrust and punta reversi, parry to the outside line, cover with guard and tester, cut, cut to finish where I started. Um, I'll do it once more in the other direction, so you've seen it from just about every side. So from here, again, I start Coda Lunga. From there, I thrust. I've got the thrust wrong to start with, so we'll go back a second. Start from Coda Lunga, I'm going to thrust, palm up, so put to reverse it. As I slip the leg, parry out to this side, back to Porta de Ferro. From there, I've got my reverse of Tonda, reverse of Skull and Brata, and back to Porta de Ferro Largo. Stramatoni 1, Stramatoni 2. And then change to Cotalonga Alta, Garda Alcorno, Imbricata, and 
maybe it's swollen right up, taking me to uh, Port of the Ferro again. From there, I'm going to do a thrust, but this time it's a stoccata, so I'm coming palm down as I thrust. So my cut this time comes to my inside leg to parry. From there, um, I'm trying to remember where I am in this, reposition to here, and then step forward back into Garden de la Corno for my second imbricata and covering cut across into Porta de Ferro. From there, I've got this weird false edge parry, followed by a punta reversi, and again I slip back to parry on that outside leg. So I come forward this time, I'm going to guard the tester, grab my opponent, and cut Squall and Brato into them, and then have a final cut to end back where I started in Coda Longa. So there's actually quite a lot in there, although you'll already notice there are some recurring motifs. Some are recurring within this form, some very much carry over and reiterate stuff that was in the walking in guard. So that's really all I wanted to go through this week, was to show you how that lays out and how the, the movements work. And then next week, as I said, I'm going to pull it across, pull it apart bit by bit um, with a partner and go through what some of these movements actually mean. So until then, have a good week and I will catch you later.